Previously on our home renovation series, we bought molding and ran into our first hardwood install hiccup. There comes a point in the home renovation process where you come down from that high that you had with getting a lot done, getting a lot accomplished really quickly. And then you hit this like lull or you hit a low where things just like aren't making sense. All the research you did isn't showing up when you do it yourself. Like all those DIYers make the task, look a lot, task at hand look a lot easier than it actually is. You're like, why are things not sitting flush? Why is there such a big gap? Why are the corners not butting up? And you kind of just hope that somewhere down the line in the process of steps, there'll be like a saving grace, whether it's like using some caulking or giving it another coat of paint. And the whole time you're just thinking like, oh man, this whole project is going to crap. And then you, you hit the next step, you pivot or you transition to a different task where things are going successfully. And you're like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. Or you reach the next step in the process and it's like, oh, it covered my mistakes from earlier. It looks better. <laughs> Like take this molding, for example, when you sign up to do like hardwood flooring yourself, it's already a big project as it is. And you think you're mentally preparing yourself for it. But what you're not mentally preparing yourself for, at least what we did prepare ourselves for, is the floor molding and just how much stress comes with it. But take into account the actual work that comes in with molding where having to get the corners butted up really nicely and getting your measurements perfectly right because it has to fit super snug and the corner in and of itself is like a whole different beast of its own you have to cut at two different angles side side the same angle and then the middle piece that connects it is also a different angle it's coming together now but it definitely the speed at which we were working slowed down a lot. At least how I function, it's a lot about wanting to see the final product. And while you're renovating, like 85 to 90% of it is not seeing the final product until you finish the last touch and then you're like, oh wow, it totally looks different. But I think it's definitely like trust the process fully. I, I fully believe in that statement during this home renovation. And I think I also have to remind myself that at the end of the day, these are small details that no one will really pay attention to beside us. So gorgeous. This is the succulent bed that started it all. They were little tiny ones. And now they're all big. 
and groan, hoping to support its long neck. <laughs> Today's artwork is a chicken. Here are the feathers, the beak, the nose. We brought all the reselling inventory. This is going to be our living room decor for now. It's quite a lot. Oh my gosh. Jeez, I didn't even realize I have it. And this isn't even all of it. I still have to bring all the shoes. Something I think you also are prepared for at least we weren't when you start hardwood renovations, hardwood flooring renovations, is the cost of molding. We bought this molding. That was about, I think like closer to almost $2 per foot, per linear foot. And just imagine how many feet are along the walls in, a, in an average house. You get the gist that you're buying like hundreds of feet. We bought, 10 16 feet long floor moldings of this and that was already close to like 500 something dollars shoe molding looks like like sticks or honestly what what a more similar looks like is like a dowel each linear feet of the shoe molding is like 86 cents to a dollar so if you're th you're what you're looking at with all things considered for all the, the linear feet in your house. And mind you, we're only doing the upstairs. Our cost for the molding alone is probably gonna be like $700. And just to put it in perspective, it cost us $550 for the paint to paint downstairs and upstairs and we still have some leftover paint thankfully we use that paint to paint over the molding you can paint a whole house which is like a very front and center visual part of the house for under the cost of putting molding for your whole house and molding is something that at least i never really paid attention to it's just something that like gets scuffed up really easily you kick it very often i i never paid attention to molding until this renovation so for all of y'all that are interested in doing hardwood flooring renovation you kind of expect the cost of the hardwood to just be a lot because you know it, it's wood it's somebody had to mill it somebody had to you know you expect that cost but the cost that you don't expect at least we didn't is the molding cost so that could easily be an additional a thousand dollars if you were trying to do a whole house i totally get why people are just out of money after renovations or after moving into a house buying a house and i also totally get on the flip side why you get charged so much to do these projects because there is a lot that goes into these things that the average person if you're not tearing up your house you don't see it so you're like you don't really understand why it costs this much but when you're actually doing it and you're bending over back, like seriously, the labor part alone is like, I, I get why it's so expensive. A lot of respect to people that do a lot of labor intensive jobs. I, I really, really, really do respect it. This is a whole different issue that we need to address maybe later when we're finished with bigger renovations. This is the dishwasher fluid. Delightful. With each new day of construction, this hole gets bigger. What did it used to be like? This big? Like this. <laughs> Yesterday? It was like 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 this. Yep. And then now what? Another six inches? Uh, yeah, like like five inches, six inches. When we when did we start the hardwood flooring? We started Saturday. So we spent a good half day trying to figure out the tools. Yeah. And then spent half a day um, putting hardwood. Mm -hmm. So that's like one day and then we spent half a day Sunday putting in the hood vent and then half a day putting flooring so mm -hmm. that's one and a half days spent half a day on Monday after work so that's two days total um, and then half a Tuesday half a Wednesday so it's three days and then we were doing molding from Thursday Friday Saturday and then today we did like two hours. So it's like three and a half days of actual hardwood flooring. And how much did we accomplish in the three and a half? We did 
the full master bedroom and the closet and then we did maybe like half I'd say half of the hallway half of the hallway mm -hmm. yeah isn't it crazy <laughs> that the molding took us equally as long as how long the hard was taking us yeah that's because the molding is really 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 detailed or like you have to really be super detailed trying to finish up the bucket of glue we have we don't <laughs> suggest getting that glue by the way do not do not use that glue that was the only glue we could get pretty fast and excessively but the sales associate was telling david that it's been sitting on the shelf since november of last year oh no he didn't tell me that i looked at the label the no he told me that was the last glue bucket in the store makes you think why <laughs> Because it's been sitting since November. David was saying the reviews for that specific glue type. There's like a a layer of like a skin. A skin. So every time you want to reuse it, even if it's just like 12 hours later or 16, 20 hours later, there's like a layer that's like half an inch thick every time that it's just wasted material. So it's pretty annoying because I feel like you end up throwing away like a third of the bucket. That glue is $250. So if you're throwing away a third of that, that's already $80 down the drain. Yeah. Literally throwing it away. That's full knee cup, but no no knee coverage at all. Oh my gosh, I just heard it rip again. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? You know, this is a true <laughs> This is a true DIYer's outfit. None of that cute overall stuff. It's this right here. You gotta trust the process. The last two days were absolute garbage in terms of progress. And today, we finished the study nook. At least the hardwood. We're gonna work on the molding a different day. And we finished the master bedroom molding and hardwood. I think we probably did that in a total of two and a half to three hours. Still have to caulk it. But man, that was, that was a much needed win after a slow last two days. So really, really happy with our progress. We're gonna get more materials and then do this all again. Stop. This is the beginning. Yep. And then this is the master. Yeah. <laughs> this is the nook. Yep. This is the hallway. Yeah. Oh, I got it on my finger. And then the bottom was the master bed, master closet, and the rest of the study nook. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty gross. It's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, it's a. Alien wearing a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> I made a lazy mint mojito. 
Thank you. Put it in his ear. describe this texture as a brownie no <laughs> a brownie is like gooey this is like it's like jello almost there whoa it's like a piece of ham or bologna whoa This is our fourth trip to a home improvement store. We were at Home Depot and Lowe's this morning, and we're at Home Depot and Lowe's again. Burn. I didn't even realize. It works. What the classy exposed knee. <laughs> 